Hmm. Royal Avenue. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember now. We definitely died. To that thing. That's right, Interceptor. Switch. <laughs> I figured that'd get your attention, Kuro. So, we ran into problems with this battle. Um, we did die. I believe it was the last occurrence. Let me know if the music is too loud or if I'm not, whatever, you know, the sound stuff. I don't remember what went wrong in this fight, but whatever it was, Mm. Whatever it was, I'm sure I'll magically know how to fix it this time. <laughs> Let me show you the true essence of beauty. Too many birds, one might say. I'm called allies. That's my favorite thing that things can do in a game. I remember this being a thing that killed me, but I can't remember how. Three, one, four. Let's do this, Rick. Which one of you guys is next? Neither of you guys. Neat. Can I get a two for one? Yes, I can. Yes, that's what it is. Water is never spot. Ouch. Hmm. Can I get a turn, please? Aqua bleed, mm, 1,790, whatever. So, Chloe's gonna get another turn, but I don't think she's gonna have enough time to actually cast off any, um, curative magic. If one must live, it must be Chloe. So, oh, we're gonna get somebody's. One of those things is gonna attack before I get a turn, too. Mm, 16. Da, 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 da. And we've really gotta get a kill. To be quite honest. 1,000. 17. 1796. This is not gonna work. This is a mistake. This is an error in planning. I'm just gonna craft for this such a situation. Wow, well, it's not very good. We definitely need to kill one. Well, Chloe having her uh, a little bit break. <laughs> I think we can get away with that. 1188. Where's that one that. 1044. That's not gonna be enough to kill. It's better than nothing. At least uh, the style will stay alive. Yeah, it's all good to go. Huh. So we definitely don't have enough time. 
It was a, a mid-game switch, Stardust. <laughs> Don't be a hater. Okay, actually, a true hurricane situation, and her last move before she suddenly dies. These JRPGs feed the soul. Don't hit Chloe. Keep Chloe alive forever. Oh yeah, I remember this was another problem. I don't have anything. <laughs> Can we do some magic before Smells gets upset? One packed. Yeah, this is like kind of a mess. <laughs> Where has captured my rogue stream? This is the mistake of the fire right there. She loses all of her CP. Wow. We're good to go. I should have killed some of those right guys, huh? This would have been perfect if she wasn't a uh, didn't die. That's pointless. Let's drag this out a bit longer for no real good reason. So I'm thinking the key here would have been to like unable to move. Uh, the key would have been to probably take care of those little boys earlier. Mm. Okay. Or just do a little prep and um, do a little prep and get my CP up before the fight even starts. It looks like what happens is these guys just can run up and overwhelm me almost instantaneously for like one round. So let's run around for a little bit and get that CP up so everybody's ready for their S class S break. There it is. That's the words I'm looking for. The problem is that there's just not many bad guys in this area right now. Thanks, Receptor, for the encouragement. I'm just another flavor of failure. Which we have 48. It was 48. Yeah. I didn't. I thought that that was a that's a go and oh, it is a to go. Okay, cool. I was worried just now that I used a um like a sit down meal and. What am I even doing right now in this game though? All right, so we did that. Sewer Monster, Royal Avenue. Oh, I remember now. We're just killing time before the next chapter starts. Well, let's try to see if we can take care of the sewage monsters. And that's a lie. What I just said to this audience was a lie. I'm not really gonna do that. I'm gonna walk back to Granzel. I did. <laughs> and then just continue the storyline. Like, I didn't know that this would end the, uh, these side quests. I think it's like to the north from here, right? Mm, yeah, I'm this way. I'm like, oh, whoops, I accidentally didn't do those monster hunts. Oh, well.
This music right here is so good. Okay. Oops, we're gonna go find that sewer. Wink! Well, only passing money. I mean, like, only, like, uh, like, not using any money? Or only using equipment that you can buy with money. Castle. Oh, I see. That would be hard. You're a glutton for punishment, Kuro. Welcome. You're the party of bracers heading for Bose, correct? Yes, that's right. Very good. We've received your fare from Elnin. Are you ready to check in? As usual, we should wait here once we check in. Got anything left to do around town? All done. Very well. I'll contact the guild branch and call the rest of your... Call the rest of your party. Estelle's group began to wait for the next passenger ship. old people on the ship. Gross. Thank God, yes, we made it in time. Up, oh, Nile and uh, Dorothy. Estelle. Ew. Thought we'd missed you. We stopped by the guild, but they said you already left. Glad we managed to catch you before your flight. Um, what's wrong? I thought we told you everything about the case last night. It ain't that. We've got something to tell you personally. You mind swing with us uh, alone like? Me? Uh, Cher? Go ahead, Estelle. Hear him out. I'll be sure to save you a seat. Thanks, Cher. Good day then now, Dorothy. Bye-bye. Okay, so what's this all about? What's so... <laughs> Olivier's just hanging out. Alright, Olivier, why are you still here? Uh, think of me as a stone in the pavement, a butterfly gracing the wind. Please, speak freely. Pay me no mind. I swear. That's one hell of a talk out of stone. <laughs> I thought this might be the case when I didn't see him board. Er, uh, sure, just a... Let's get you to your front seat, my dear Lenham. Look at that, it. Look at the little art they had to make for that particular thing. He's the same as always, then. Ah, uh, pretty much. Um... Dorothy, you look kind of out of it. Even more so than usual, I mean. Oh, Koro, no consoles or anything available. What's wrong? I thought you were off taking photos and boats. Yeah, I, um, just got back this morning. Um, Estelle... Wait, I remember. You're off at that old fort in the Misty App Valley. The one they're using as a military train. Yeah, God, Order, God Eater 2 is, is on sale right now. I have that one on PS4 as well. Hmm. It's unfortunate, Kuro. It's weird you left so far. Just mail you some stuff, man. Get your game set, Trey. We'll get you right. <laughs> Wait, isn't that... 
Finally twigged to it, huh? That's the base the bandits raided last night. Dorothy here was literally on the scene when those thugs took their ship back. Oh man, okay. So you came out here to tell us what happened? Oh, thanks, I appreciate it. Uh, to tell you what happened, you might say that. Huh? Hell with it. It's a thousand words or a picture, Dorothy. Hand it over. Yes, sir. A picture of, uh, Joshua. Gotta be. He's been hanging out with those bandits. It only makes sense. Don't go crazy about this, okay? Pictures don't always tell the whole truth. Forever or something. Or did I just insult myself, um... Yeah, I mean, that's true. The PC games just can run so good. Like, I'm playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey PC, and it runs so smooth that it hurts my eyes. What's it all, all this about? Why do you look so serious? I um, took this picture. Dorothy handed Stella a single photograph. Uh, let's see. I recognize Miss Tomboy, the bandit over there. And that'll be... Yup, you see Joshua. What? I'm holding off on giving this photo to the army for the moment. I won't run it in the paper either. I'll let you deal with it how you want. There's no way she can deal with it. She doesn't even know where he is. And look at that. We have reached the end of chapter three, the bad tea party. Ho 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 ho. Gives me a chance to stretch. So this chapter, to me, was probably one of the most challenging ones as far as like kind of sticking with the story. I mean, they gave you a lot. You ended up doing so much running around. Honestly, I'm kind of happy to see the chapter end. I want to know what's going to happen next. I think there's, what, probably five chapters in this game, I'd imagine. But that one is kind of slow in a way that surprised me. <laughs> like seven, eight, ten. Kuro, can't you just let me let me live live my life? <laughs> I don't need the truth invading my uh, my <laughs> my superstitions. Please, this way, Major Vander. Why do I not remember Major Vander for some reason? Hmm. It seems to be in perfect condition. Your men have been maintaining it since its capture then. Ah, well, we've used it for flight practice a number of times. Even flew itself a few times. Flew it myself a few times. I'm curious, as a man with experience, how would you say it handles? Amazingly, I'd say. Its speed and agility are superior to even our military patrol ships. It's one of the high speed classes made by the Rhine for some years back, right? That was a bit of a surprise, or begging your pardon, Major. I always tend to think of airships as liberal, liberalian, as a liberalian thing, you know? Untaken, yes, it's ours, but the armor is frightening, frighteningly thin compared to your ships, and it carries few weapons. At the same time, however, it is far too expensive and not expendable to use as a scout vessel. Airships of this type, frankly, have little military value. Oh, I see. Well, it's a good ship, though. Feels like a waste. In Erebonia, ships of this type are really little more than toys of nobility and newly wealthy. I'm sure those bandits obtained it in similar fashion. Right, they're the family of the Baron Capua, right, correct? Former Baron, Captain. With the loss of their land, the family's been stripped of the title as well. In fact, the creditor who issued the original title loan on this airship has requested we return it to them. I see. It sounds like a bit of a mess. Regardless, 
The fact of the matter is, former imperial nobility have caused liberal a great deal of hardship. You have my apologies. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, it wasn't that big of a big a problem. So when would you like to take it? In a few days at the earliest. I would imagine you're busy with a few things as well. Ah, uh, no, it's nothing. Dregs of the old intelligence division is all. It's really just the final thrashings of a dying beast. We'll have them all in stocks before the month's out, mark my words. Wow, it's way different from the last time I was here. Young woman's voice. No, they're are they giving us a flashback. No, wait. Mm. Oh, the Sky Bandit ship. No, wait, maybe it is. Maybe there's a flashback to when the bandits restole it. I didn't know it was still here. Neat. Ah, uh, it's so nice. Very cutely lit by the night sky and everything. Uh, excuse me, Missy. You mind getting permission before snapping pictures? Oh. And the Misty Valley is all glowy and stuff from the light of the moon. It's so magical and cute. Okay, say cheese. Cheese. Listen to me, woman. Who is that? Ah, uh, her liberal news photographer, if I remember right. Juiced early trails. She visited more like pushed her way in, really, to write an article on the training ground we're running. She had an appointment earlier and didn't think she'd be around uh, this late. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, you probably should go to bed at a reasonable time, Juiced. Of course, I appreciate you stopping by again. I've never seen a uniform like that. And you're really tall, too. Hey, what squad do you remember of? Um, no, I... Oops, I forgot to introduce myself. Sorry. Hey, works for me, Juiced. I'm Dorothy. Dorothy Hyatt. I'm a camerawoman for the Liberal News. I'm here to get a lot of pictures of the new training grounds for a special edition. I'm Mueller. That's what it is. Like, I knew that, I knew Vander, I'm like, maybe I'm just used to them calling him Mueller. Yeah, Mueller of the Erebonian Imperial Military. You're on a diplomatic mission on behalf of my country. Yeah, this is definitely before the Sky Bandits retake this ship. No way, Erebonian Army Man? Wow, I've never seen one of you guys before. I was living in the Grand during the war, you see. Is that so? Oh, that's nay. Sir, may I have a moment? What is it, soldier? Communication from headquarters, sir. There's been a change in the movements of the intelligence remnants. Ah, man, I'm tired. Isn't it time to change watch yet? Who the hell think a level 2 alert would be this boring, eh? Wish that girl would come back this way, at least. What, that chick with the glasses? You got weird taste, man. Hey, she's a uh, unique, sure, but did you see her? She got that cute nerd thing going on. I'm just saying, I wouldn't mind getting to know her, you know. Ah, uh, well, go indulge your camera fans once you're on a break. So, what the hell are those Intel leftovers even thinking? Hiding out in the Ravenue mine like a bunch of monsters? The hell, man. Who knows with those guys? Mines are crazy elites like them. Ain't like yours and mine, my friend. Good work, you two. Ah, Captain, sir. Captain, all clear, sir. Right, good. Listen up. The remnants of the intelligence division showed up in Gransel. All members, including former Captain Balthy, are in custody. We're serious, sir? We're standing down from alerts, then, sir. About that. What they're calling a giant flying orbital puppet showed up in the capital. We're currently searching for its whereabouts. A flying puppet? Like a doll? You're, you sure HQ is it, um, pulling your leg, sir? LF, I know, Private. Regardless, we're to maintain alert statue status until dawn. Sorry, gentlemen, but I need you to remain at your posts. 
Ah, uh, yes, sir. Understood, sir. <sighs> you gotta be kidding. A giant flying puppet? Would someone launch a huge toy out of a cannon or something? Ah, uh, who knows. You heard the captain, though. Until guys are done and dusted, we aren't gonna get attacked out here. All we gotta do is stand around until we get relieved. Yeah. Huh? What's up? Thought I heard. It's like a horror movie, trail style. Ah. Uh. Hey, what's wrong? I sure hope he's just giving them a firm massage, massage so they fall asleep forever. A black fang, indeed. <laughs> Not bad, Joshua. Just give it a nice, firm shoulder massage, and they just fall right asleep. Impressive. That was, what, half an instant? Yeah, that was kind of cool. It was nothing. Knocking out inattentive guards like this is trivial. His eyes stay closed. Ah, uh, yeah, I bet. Jeez, can't you take a compliment at least once? Are you sure the bobcat's here, though? I would have thought they'd move it to, to that force across the lake. Fort across the lake. All the information I have says it's here. They, they're even using it for light training, so, for flight training, so it should be in working order. <laughs> well, that suits us just fine. We'll need the bobcat's ignition key to start it up, though. Got a plan for getting that? I suspect the guard captain we just we saw has it. They're probably keeping it until they hand it over to the Imperial Army along with the ship. In other words, we need to crack some skulls to get it back. Let's avoid killing anyone if we can. I'd rather not make any more make more of an enemy out of the Royal Army than absolutely necessary. We should hide and avoid confrontation with any patrolling guards. Boy, you sure make it sound simple. Not that I'll complain about not killing anyone though. Ah, uh, naturally. The Capua family will never resort to murder on my watch. True, but so much for our great run of villainy, huh? Maybe that guy was right. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? It's nothing. We've got no time. Let's begin. Okay. Finally. Alright, let's do this. What? <laughs> Gasp. I'm in control of the Black Fang now. What you got equipped? Scanners. We got some strikers on there. Level 72. I'm that sneaky boy. <laughs> Let me play as Joshua. Be able to say this is that room, isn't it? Where, where you're going insane. This is that room we used as headquarters. Huh. Seems like doing the same. We even put a phone in here. And they left it unguarded. Talk about careless. Looks like this is the guard captain's room. We wait in ambush here. They're already back. We'll hit them when they come in. Er. Oops. Whoa. Huh? Too late. True dual strike, true cloak and dagger. Three thousand five hundred. Got a gun. I'm gonna shoot you. Hit you first. <laughs> you gotta do that anyway. I'm gonna just beat up this one dude. Iced. Take that! So there's not gonna uh, let me live, huh? <laughs> Just a distance for a troop looking dagger, but not so much for a flicker. Mm 
Three experience. Boy, Joshua must have just like left Estelle and instantly started training the whole time. Good, he has it. See, Bobcat Ignition Key. Ah, well, that was easy. I love a takedown, though. Hey, Joshua, were you going easy on us the first time we fought? Mm -hmm, what do you mean? I mean, you're, that you're crazily, superhumanly strong and fast. You weren't even the same person you were when we fought back then. All dark. Let there be ham. And it was okay. I wasn't holding back. Let's just say my switch hadn't been flipped. You are what now? I'll spare you the details. It's enough to say that with that switch flipped, I am utterly focused on logical analysis and action which will further my goals. That's the only difference. Okay, I, uh... I think I get it. Well, not really. The power used is the same. But now you're using it in a more effective manner, is that it? That's one way to think of it. One way to think of it, yes. Eh, well, either way, you're quite the beast now. I think you'd even cross swords with that special ops lieutenant at this point. Ah, uh, right, that Lawrence guy. He was a society agent, wasn't he? No, I couldn't defeat him. My training and abilities are specialized in covert operations and guerrilla warfare. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, the Blade Lord will defeat me in moments. The Blade Lord? You mean that Lawrence guy, right? Yes. As long as he's there, I cannot fight the society head on. I can only live up to my namesake, the Black Fang. All I can do is bite at them from the darkness. Joshua? Hmm. That is, uh, kinda heavy. That uh, doesn't cover half of it, really. We don't have time for this. Hum, we need to move. Dark, how are you doing, my dear friend? Hope you're doing well. Just touch everything in this room. Treasure. Attack three. Do I get to keep that in real life? I'm just gonna leave it on the bench just now, just in case. Somehow this transfers into my real characters. Cause something tells me we're not gonna be playing as Joshua for too long. Right, almost time for guard change. So I'll make my way over there. What is it? This is bad. Kyle, hand me one of those S2 bombs I gave you quickly. Praise be to him. Oh, sure. What the? What? Can't stay awake. Holy crap, that was quick. An S2 sleeping gas bomb, huh? That took effect for a fire fast lady bomb gas bomb I knew of. You blend it yourself? I did. The recipe's a trade secret, though. Mm. Whatever, let's keep moving. We could have used that the first time we were in here, Joshua. Back in the first game when we had to go through all these different levels. Busting through doors and stuff. Another brooch. All that for a room with no oops, almost made a mistake. And so the chest is emptiness. That's all there ever is. Eternal and inter inter interminable. Ugh. You got it worth running your hands down this random chest once. Don't push your luck. Oh, y'all master. Yeah, let's see someone else real quick. So I believe I forgot to do... Excuse me, that wasn't meant for you. Put it back. There we go. Yeah, I know this probably treasure chest that way, but that's not where we're going. Okay. 
tier of um Wow, you can at least ask before opening me. have already gone on to better place. Your pockets. Agreed. Such wonderful, such a wonderful meal. I moved to tears. Uh, hearing you say that makes the work worth, makes the work worth it, miss. How about you, sir? Does it re compare to Erebonian cooking? Oh, I'd rather say so, yes. It looks like manna from heaven, compared to the slop they feed us in the Imperial military. Really? What kind of food does the Erebonian army prepare, if you uh, can tell me, sir? Mm, let's see, corned beef that tastes of nothing but salt, Beans so overcooked they have no texture, and bread that is more than a bit stale. You'll always find those three at least. Uh, I see what you mean then. Wow, that's awful. Is that is that why you guys attack people so often? Because your food is yucky? Dang. Tough. That's... Ah, uh, come on, Missy, don't be cruel. Well, I'd certainly like to believe we're not that kind of country. The stale bread seems like I'm just a bridge way too far. Like, don't even eat that bread. Stale bread is the worst. Still feeding a large army takes a great deal of food, and serving low-quality food allows to be done more cheaply. That does factor into why the meals served in the military are lacking, I imagine. Wow, sucks to be you guys. Yeah, I'm glad things aren't like that over here. Hmm, Joshua, what's up? Oh, the people within are eating. They probably won't be getting up for a while, so let's just move fast. Got it. Let's keep moving. Terrible. Um, what's returning here? Another bright idea. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, not bad. Not bad, treasure chest. Let's return here another bright idea. Good job. Glad to see you haven't changed, Joshua. You're missing it all. It was another bright idea. I say it wasn't. 
like, I guess Joshua's last name is Bright, right? So maybe it is Bright, yeah. Give me charge. Unable to see the bottom of this ostensibly empty chest, you drop a pebble into it. You don't hear it at the bottom. Probably best to leave. Tear all bomb. Oh man, nothing again? Jeez. You can't really heal those other guys either, huh? I mean, I hope that if they die, they don't automatically, like, injure. Do your retry. You charge too. This chest is as empty as well of, as my well of creativity after writing all these messages. play through these juice or well I guess it's it's a winter now so I don't know anything about seasons ever since I got out of school and live in Florida like we don't even have seasons just like varying degrees of heat so it's like everything summer all the time <laughs> my beautiful perfect bobcat now I've missed you looks like they kept it fixed up at least because what do you expect which is what you'd expect from the Liberalian Liberalian Royal Army they know how to treat an airship, if nothing else. I mean, it's pretty cold here today, too, Coral. It was like a high of 44 degrees Fahrenheit. I know this is a happy reunion, but we're very short on time. We have the ignition key. Let's get in the air. Right, right. Give me just a second here. Hmm, let's enjoy the moment a little. Alrighty, all aboard. Over there. Elves. Damn it, they found us. The Sky Bandits. Out there. They must be the ones who knocked out the captain. Get them. No choice then. Nap time, suckers. It's too cold, juice. Ooh. Caught a shiver. These guys are like the yeah, equivalent of bullet sponges.
Bling. And down for the count. That won't be the last of them. I'll hold them here. I'll hold them here. Get the bobcat ready for launch. Right. We'll be just a minute. Jill said, why aren't you boring? My brothers can get the bobcat in the air just fine. I'm gonna stay here and back you up. But, ah, uh, no buts. You know, you try acting all cool, but you're kind of nearsighted. Mm -hmm. Despite the whole blar, emotional distance, you are my chess pieces thing. You've really been helping us out a lot. You really think I, we are just gonna dump you here and run at this point? Well, I do think I'm a fairly good judge of character, especially with someone who wears their hearts on their sleeve like a certain bandit I know. Hey, who wears the heart on their sleeve? I just gotta say about you, Buster. Hmm, I thought it was a bit noisy in here. Mueller. What? The Capua Sky Bandits. What perfect timing you have. And he's with you, no less. You remembered me. What the? Oh crap, what's an Airbonian army guy doing here? And wait a second, you know him? We've met, briefly. You're here to collect the ship prior to the pack signing, I suspect. Exactly. To be perfectly frank, I could not care less if you take that ship and fly it to the moon. Now that I'm here, however, I cannot simply let you pass. Oh, allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm Major Mueller Vander of the Imperials Army's 7th Armored Division. Oh man. Be careful, this won't be a normal fight. I say that's due more to you, Joshua, regardless. On your guard! Ooh, what's this move? Okay. I need to heal. How many hit points are I missing? 5,000 yet. Alright, now we're on even footing here. Sort of. Let's see if we can... Trivial Strike, see if it hurts him. Huh. Uh, what can we do? Clock up the X. Speed's in the arcade. Ouch! Mueller is a beast. Uh oh. If I can 18 delay him, I'll take that. Resist. How much was the beat Mueller? <laughs> He's tough. He has so many more hit points than I have. Indeed. She needs to stay alive, I guess. Heal yourself. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Trivial strike. So we can't hang out standing next to each other, that's for sure. 
But I can't control her, so... She's basically useless in this fight right now. Yeah, than just being like another target. Let's see if we can get another clock up EX out. That wasn't enough. That combo. 800, that's not gonna do it. Do you have any weaknesses, my friend Mueller? <laughs> exactly. Gosh, gosh, the misser. There's one that he wants to do, it's gonna be miss. Oh ho ho! Oh contraire, bon frère. Double crit. I didn't miss that time. That clock up is helping out a lot. Got a mess, and I lost my clock up. That's just as well, because I can do it again. Another mess, Mueller? <laughs> Yeah, he did. They've been hanging out during this fight too long. And he was like, I don't know how to not do this. Oh, ouch. He suddenly remembered how to not miss just now. Alright, dual strike him again. <laughs> Drop your change. That's that. Why? Well, I, I thought that was gonna be a fight that we're destined to lose. Oh great, we leveled up Joshua. Pant pant. What the hell? Go down already, you sack of master level swordplay, and your last name is Vander. I think I can guess who Olivier must be in that case. If we're discussing identities, yours was certainly a surprise. <laughs> Very nice pants. Joshua, Joshua Estre, lost child of Hamel. What? Huh? As we thought. I guess even that idiot's guesses can be right sometimes. Um, Joshua? Mass then, Major Vander. How do you know about that? So you do have a killer's gleam in your eye after all. I'll give you all I have then, Enforcer. 
what is going on? Why are these two people going Super Saiyan? Wait, no. Come on, Joshua. You'd think Mueller would have uh, done something in that very slow turnaround. It's going Superboy. <laughs> and it lives. Oi, just that. Joshua, hop on. Right. Joshua, come on. What are you doing? Oof. Hey, that's the picture. Stop that. Whoa, what a pro op. That was a pretty cool scene. Oh, hell. What happened to the commander? Get Hawk and Gate on the line. Uh huh? I think I've seen that boy somewhere before. Ah, uh, what does this mean? I gotta tell Nile. I wonder which of us really escaped here. I'm greener than I thought, I suppose. Even so, Hamill. Seems I have no choice but to help him after all. Him who? Is he talking about Olivier? He said that idiot can be correct every once in a while. Sigh. Can't believe this. You should be able to. It looks real cool because Joshua's been cool. Now, I don't think Josette's mini scary is very practical for the banditry that she tries to do. This is definitely Joshua. Tossing on a scarf, try to look cool, huh? Hope you're taking care of yourself. Joshua really still isn't liberal. What's he doing helping those bandits? Why won't he? Why won't he let me help him? Joshua, you idiot. I'm mad that um, just sits looking directly at the camera. Doing crazy stuff like attacking an army base. And your eyes are so cold like when we first met. And, and... And why do you look like you're getting along so well with that stupid tomboy? Estelle? What? It's gonna be Shara. I figured. Oh, Shara, sorry. You know, it's weird when they have like voices off screen and like Estelle, for example, just heard Shara's voice off screen. But it's a woman that you can't see. Like, why, why can't, like, why wouldn't Estelle know what Shara's voice sounds like? I was said the soft part loud. I thought I heard your dulcet tones from all the way across the ship. I was worried when you just wandered off like that, Estelle. What's wrong? Air sickness finally getting to you. Ah, uh, no, don't worry. I'm not sick or anything, really. Well, alright. Ah, uh, the weather is fantastic today. I think. There are people plotting dark deeds under a peaceful sky like this. Hmm, goddess, what fools these mortals be. Yeah. Estelle, honey, you don't need to suffer alone, alright? Err. I won't ask what you talked about with Nile, but I'll always remember you have friends you can rely on. And you'll always, always have me. Uh, of course, if you really want to sort it out on your own, that's fine. But every one of us wants to help you if you can. Don't forget that. Um, Shara? <laughs> that's all, don't worry. It'll be a while before I reach Pose. She'll be stopping in Relent on the way though, so remember to get, your, get, to get in your seat before then. I will. Sarah is great. Age appropriate. Unlike Stella, who is like 10 years old or something. 16, 15, 16 in this game. Relying on others, huh? Maybe speaking to everyone for a bit will clear my head. Guess whose head it won't clear? Mine. Because this stream is going to be over now. I know, short trails part, but I'm getting really sleepy. Like, surprisingly sleepy. But... Everybody, thank you for joining me and watching me play Far Cry 2. That was really fun. 
I'm probably gonna periodically pick that game up when I don't know what to do. But yeah, given sleep A, these long break has thrown them off my schedule completely. So choose to you sleep, you shower. Uro, you go to bed. Everybody, everybody go to bed. Everybody just rest. <laughs> I'm gonna play Tales of Vesperia probably laying in bed. But uh, thank you. Thank you all for joining me again and letting me waste your time. Um, I'm still figuring out what we're gonna play on Wednesday or Mondays. Mondays are one day of the week that's not gonna be trails. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I want something, but I can't figure it out. I'll bug you guys in Discord about it. Try to get your input. Um, probably not something as long as a JRPG. So, we'll see. Anyway, until next time, you guys. Thank you, of course, for joining me. And Juiced, of course, thank you for the bits again. So you're the best, you guys. And have a great night.